Hey darlings, are you throwing your clothes away after soaking them in water? Please stop throwing them away because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to actually use your clothes after soaking them in water. You don't have to throw them away anymore. I got you. Okay, keep on watching. Welcome back lovely. So as you can see, I have clothes here that I soaked in water. And this is the previous video that I showed you how I soaked my clothes for 30 days in water. So this is actually the clothes that was remaining from that water. I did not throw it away. As you can see, the clothes are actually swollen because they were in water for 30 days. This is my coconut milk, you guys. Actually coconut cream. Hi, I don't remember between the milk and the cream okay. so <laughs> so i'm going to show you how to make the cloth conditioner for hair growth now this is not the conditioner cream okay that i made the last time of the cloth conditioner cream this is actually the cloth conditioner for hair growth now don't throw your clothes away after soaking them in water because you are just wasting your clothes you can soak them in water for a month for them to swell up a little bit and then after swelling up you can actually blend it together like that now if you want your cloth conditioner to be like thick in consistency you can actually put a little bit of the coconut milk in your cloth conditioner now you guys you can go and check out the video that i did on how to make cloth live in conditioner cream for hair growth go and check out that video i actually did it on my channel you guys you can go and check it out so this is my cloth conditioner for hair growth now you can actually put this conditioner on your hair and then you wash it out because cloth can actually dry out your hair you guys uh, unless you're actually going on ahead with the deep conditioner so with this conditioner you can just put it on your hair put a plastic on sit under the hooded dryer especially if you're low porosity hair because you really want your cloth conditioner to really penetrate into your cuticles so i would recommend you to sit under a hooded dryer if you don't have a hooded dryer put on a plastic for about one hour okay when you take it out you wash it out okay now you can also add in your melted shea butter in there or a conditioner of your choice but with this recipe i really wanted to leave it like this because this is actually the cloves on its own okay now i've put in coconut milk but you can actually put in water you guys if you don't want the coconut milk in there but you can yeah you can just put in water so these are the actual cloves that i blended so don't don't throw away your clothes after soaking them you can actually use it to make your cloth conditioner for hair growth now if you i don't know whether this can be a cloth leave-in conditioner cream for hair growth now if you want it to be a cream as i've said you can add in your favorite leave-in conditioner or your favorite conditioner regular conditioner from the shops you can also add in that but because of this recipe i just wanted to show you how you can make your cloth conditioner uh, after soaking it in water because most of us actually throw away the cloths okay thank you for watching give my video a big thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one god willing